this is Nick Nelson, Med Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a really unique form of loaded carry. This is almost like a stupid looking walking. What you're going to be doing here is swinging two dumbbells or kettlebells. I'm going with kettlebells here. I've got a couple of 53 pounders. What you're going to be doing is every time you take a step, you're going to be doing a swing. So I'm going to take a step forward with my right, swing that kettlebell forward with my left. Next step, opposite. Next step, opposite. So every step I'm taking, I'm swinging the dumbbell, uh, kettlebell. Kind of like cross-country skiing, only done with walking and with swinging. So not at all like cross-country skiing, exactly. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. One of the key things to remember here is to make sure you're swinging the opposing arm as foot is coming down. So when you're stepping forward with your right foot, that left kettlebell or dumbbell should be swinging forward. If you're swinging the same side, you're going to be basically flailing around kind of off balance. What we're looking for with this one is that cross action through the core, that torque. Every time you step, that force from the kettlebell swinging is getting transferred around and through the core, anti-rotational uh, force. So, I just can't wait to see what this one looks like. <clears throat> this one, just so you know, get a heads up, will not make you look cool. So if you're trying to do this for the purpose of looking cool, just take a couple of heavy dumbbells and do a normal farmer's walk. This one isn't for you. So you're going to be doing something straight out of a Monty Python skit here. So step forward with your right, swing with your left. Like this, and then... And then back. too if you do the same side. You end up losing your balance pretty quickly. So make sure it's opposite sides. So, like I said, this one will not make you look cool. But, every step you take, torque in through the core, and you're getting that swing movement. So, it's working your shoulders to some degree, core, and some lower body. Now, you may have also noticed when I was doing these that I wasn't standing perfectly upright. I was actually squatting down just a little bit, knees slightly bent, and had my feet a little bit further apart. The reason for this is, as you're swinging, there's a lot of rotational movement going on here. So you want to have a better stable uh, position of balance as you're doing this one. So you can make any adjustments you need to do as you're doing it. So, you know, obviously you're walking like an idiot here, but you want to make sure that you wait for the sun pump to finish. And then you continue with the exercise here. So you squat slightly down and then every step you take, <laughs> this is something, obviously coordination is a factor here too. You really have to, uh, kind of get that before you really start going heavier with this one. So as you're stepping, it's almost like a monster walk with bands, only, shoot, I just gave myself an idea, I gotta try this with bands now. Anyways, <clears throat> to continue, squat down a little bit, this will give you better balance as you're doing the exercise. Every one swing should be one step, and if it takes you a slow kind of pace to do it, then so be it, you're gonna basically be monster walking up and down the floor here. So, that's the exercise, and, uh, I may or may not show you the band one here depending on how it works out, so <laughs> enjoy. Alright, side note, tried it with the bands as potential, but I don't think the bands I have are quite a good match for it. I didn't get con con continuous tension, so every step I was taking, the bands were getting too loose. So if you do have bands and uh, you think it might be a good fit, something that can keep tension on there, I'd say give it a try. See what happens, you might like it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Now if you want to get more training videos just like this one, be sure to click on either of those two videos over on the left.